Bob is just, he's just a kind and generous person. You know, he, you know, it took a while for him to warm up to us. You know, I think at first he was very guarded about uh, his living situation. Uh, but once we were there a couple times, uh, he really opened up. And it's been a lot of fun talking to Bob about his military service, um, his life. He spent his life here in Ann Arbor, you know, and, and um, has a lot of connections here. Uh, and then to learn more about his, um, you know, his membership in the different veterans affinity groups in the area, you know, so he's very active in uh, AMVETS and, you know, the you know, veterans of foreign wars. So uh, to hear him talk about that and the pride you see with him being involved in that is, was really nice. Bob is hilarious. Bob is a sweetheart. Um, you just got to get to know him. Uh, he, Bob can walk into a room and make everybody laugh. Uh, and it's, he's just a great guy. It's, it's, it, feels, it feels good to know that, that I've met someone like Bob. First of all, my name is Bob Kurtz, and uh, I served 20 years in the Air Force. And uh, in 1991, I became a civilian once again. I remember the morning I left Andrews Air Force Base in Washington, D.C. It was great. It was just like this. It was just getting warmer, and the sun was out. And it was a beautiful day to retire. The VRC is really a new, unique place. It brings people together, brings veterans together. It's almost like a coffee shop, okay, atmosphere, because at the coffee shop, you're drinking coffee, eating a donut, and you're talking veteran stuff, you know, or veteran experiences, or what it's like to have the comradeship that you have when you're in the military. And it's something that's, that's we miss when we get out of the service. We don't, we don't want to talk to anybody. It's hard to talk to somebody that's never been in the military. They just can't relate to some of the experiences or the necessity to have a comrade stand next to you, you know, and, and support you. You feel like you're moving forward in life instead of receding backwards. I like to work over there. I like to volunteer, as a matter of fact. The American Legion gave me an award for being there all the time, not ever being asked. Upon the initial visit, we realized, okay, this, you know, you know, no one needs to be living in these type of conditions where, you know, the plumbing's not even working in, in your bathroom. Uh, so, um, you know, we had a couple other projects that we were considering, uh, but this one, because it was a health concern, you know, we immediately jumped on it and focused all our efforts on this one, uh, you know, to get it done as soon as possible. It's a night and day difference. I didn't realize that my sewer was not working and that the sewer gas was coming into my home. So when you first arrived, you tried to fix the um, vanity sink in the bathroom and you found out that the toilet wasn't really working and there was contamination underneath my trailer. So that was quite a shocking news for me because I didn't know that was going on. And I didn't know that maybe that sewer gas was affecting the way I was feeling, whether I was more agitated or get upset more quickly than I would in the past, or if it was affecting my heart. I have congested heart failure, so it could have been adding to that problem as well. I want to say a huge thank you to our team and, and our trade partners. Um, you know, they jumped in. It just seemed like there was no hesitation. You know, they wanted to get involved. And, and some, you know, when you're dealing with plumbing issues, uh, it's not 
very clean, you know, and it's, and it's hard to be motivated to go into underneath someone's um, bathroom, you know, to do all the, the cleanup that's required. Um, but uh, all the folks who contributed, you know, time in their own money uh, to, to helping him get his home uh, to where it is now uh, is awesome. And, you know, they, like I said, they didn't hesitate. They rolled up their sleeves, even in cold weather. Um, to get involved and you know, I just couldn't be more pleased with how it came out. It sounded like he had a bathroom that was in pretty rough shape. So we updated any rough plumbing that needed to be repaired and then install all new fixtures for him. It's just nice to be able to give back, especially to somebody who, you know, voluntarily went into the military and served our country. Yeah, so I personally donated the, uh, the underlayment and the labor. And then the material that we used was donated from a company that I used to work for, uh, Nelson Floor Covering out of Westland, Michigan. I think it was the turnaround from ask to delivery was less than two weeks. Um, so, yeah, I mean, it was something I, I wanted to do. It was a no-brainer. Um, so just, yeah, whatever it took to make it happen. I think everybody wants to help people. I don't think there's anybody that, that would say, no, I don't want to help people. Um, but not everybody has the resources to do so. Uh, and here at Forward, you know, we put aside resources for that specific purpose, for our charitable don uh, donation projects. And that just immediately gives you opportunities in places where you wouldn't have them. Like go and fully remodel Bob's, you know, bathroom and buy him a nice new rug and put in a good window so he gets good sunlight into his hallway. And, you know, we replaced his stairs, uh, which is just like a small thing, but his old stairs were all rotted and, and quite frankly dangerous. And we came in and put in some nice new stairs. And so being able to do it backed and working for forward, um, it really just opens up a lot more opportunity to be able to do something like that. And I think that's really cool. I just really appreciate everything you've done. It's been excellent. The bathroom looks terrific. I'm afraid to even use it, <laughs> but it really looks nice. And the lights that you put in there, boy, that is bright. That brightens things up. So that's working out really good.